Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today. It is the crack of dawn, and we're going down to let the goats out. Did you guys know that we have an apple tree? I'm not sure if it's an apple tree or if it's a crab apple tree. And we have a pear tree. These look like they're ripening up, and they're super tiny. So, is it a pear tree? What kind of tree is this? We'll find out when we eat it. We'll find out when we eat it. We're coming, goats. So we are going to leave this open because honestly, this whole path up to Chino's stall is a mess. I'm One gate, two gates. Whoa. Hurry up, I'm coming. I love the rocks here. I checked the goat's feet yesterday and most of them are okay. But a couple of the babies are a bit long. There's that rubber someone was talking about. So I've been cleaning up this barn. I'm going to bring down one. Well, I've already taken out garbage bags full of stuff. They knocked that wood down. Oh, I knew they would. Hi! <laughs> They're still scared of us. But there has been some major developments we're going to show you guys. I still don't have a name for my girl, this my baby, Blossom. but Sophie named her Blossom. I love it. And okay, so right now she just woke up, so she's not super friendly, but she lays in Sophie's arms and is like so sweet. She's like, I just slept all night. I don't need to sleep. I've already been head butted. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. In the ear. Yeah, I've been like hoofed. And headbutted, not in anger or frustration, just like putting them down. I'll get like, I don't have my my way perfect yet. So I get like smacked with their hooves or I scrape with their, with their. She's pooping in the. Don't poop in there. What the heck is wrong with you? I try to make it so nice in here. There's their, their mineral and their baking soda and their water. This is the first goat that's going to be friendly. Yeah, look at how relaxed she is. She actually will fall asleep in Sophie's hands. They're like, let us out! Oh my gosh, they did actually poop in there. I'm going to have to raise it. I knew I was going to have to raise it. Ugh, Sophie scooped that poop out. Oh no. <laughs> so, another funny thing that happened it's last night. It's raisins. Get Jacob to eat it. <laughs> oh, no. Another funny thing that happened last night, though, was that Sophie was wanting to pick them up, and she reached for the boy, and she actually caught him, and she put her hands underneath her, his belly, and he, she went to pick him up, and then she just let him go. And I'm like, Sophie, you had him. And she's like, yeah, there's stuff under there. She was not interested in holding him. Anyway, they're a little more excited this morning, but she typically is so sweet and like will really she'll fall right to sleep with Sophie rubbing her but she's more energetic now so I got to hold my baby look she's got a little she heart doesn't run oh my gosh is that a heart on her foot no it looks like a heart almost it's just a dot yeah it's just a dot we should, we should call her Dottie no Millie and what I need another name who are you naming Millie I mean Tilly and what people said Tilly and Millie I don't like the name Tilly I love the name Tilly. I love soft girl names, but my girl is not soft. She is like ferocious. <laughs> she she tried to, well, that's for another time. <laughs> that's a story for another time. But she's brave and she's teaching her baby to be brave. See, the little boy's cute, but he's hard to pick up. And then she's a chicken. We should she call her chicken. She's shy. She's a chicken. So when there's like a threat, oh, don't you poop. Oh my gosh, you're pooping in the thing too. Everywhere. Mom. Yeah, their poop looks good though. Like that's one thing that you have to really take care of, notice of when they're moved to a new house and things are stressful. She's like, I want out. Do you want to go out? I love her. And the reason I love her, even though she's a bit strong-minded, is that she's strong-minded. Like I love a strong-minded animal. Ellie is like... I don't know. They remind me of each other. And she's teaching her baby to be like that, too. And she's teaching her baby to be... To be... Scared. And I'm teaching her baby to be good with us. You're really cute, though. You're really cute. You look like a cow. Not in a mean way, how people say cow. I love cows. I think they're beautiful. I think you're cute. She's like, I think you're ugly. <laughs> Just let me out. 
you let him out. Don't poop more. Okay, yeah, let's go. You ready? It's morning. So anyways, we put them in at night just to keep them safe because I don't know what kind of predators. I've seen... Hawks. We've seen foxes. We've seen hawks. Deer. Deer. Deer, not beer. Deer. We've seen it all. Come on, babies. This is what we mean by she's the brave one. Yeah, so it's always mom. Her baby's braver. And then, yeah, and then her brave baby. They're always the ones to scope out every issue. Oh, my gosh. The poop, though. Clearly, they ate last night. And then, then usually this mom's babies are braver than her. They're outside. She like, hmm. So yesterday I saw them looking at the fence line. Pretty good. <laughs> they were watching it. Goats will like lean on fences, climb on fences. Clearly they're drinking. Looks like they did eat a little last night because there's some hay on the ground. I actually have to get this poop out of here somehow. So, in other changes, we moved the cat down here. Hopefully, he's still in here. Oh, hi, buddy. oh hi, Ollie. Hi. <laughs> oh, there's another light bulb in here. We need to. Uh, we need to go get light bulbs today because this whole barn is missing light bulbs. We moved him over here. This is his new house. We set up like a little station here. You go over here where your food is. Where his food is, his blanket. This is actually so soft. Looks like he was on it. He likes um, to sleep. We put him. a little bed there and then we put water and food. Hi, babe. So we're not gonna keep him in here forever because it feels like a dungeon a little bit. But we want him to learn to stay in this barn. So what we're gonna do is- And I mean, we can't come down here with the dogs anyways because it's the goats. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the story. Ellie is really hard. Like I keep her, I told her to stay in the house, but sometimes she runs out underneath my feet and then there's no saying no sometimes. So I'm like, fine, you can come down, but you need to behave. And she was so good. She was sitting by my feet and I was sitting in the doorway of their little run-in. And then suddenly Tilly kept on like doing that goat thing. Goats are just like chickens. They'll pick on anybody who's new. And Tilly was like sizing her up thinking, wow, they brought us to the miniature place. And she was like kind of calling Ellie on and Ellie was scared of her. Ellie's finally scared of something for the first time ever. You want to? <laughs> Bye Ollie. You're getting out soon. Soon. Go. No. We're just sitting in that doorway and the goat sizing up Ellie and I'm telling Ellie like be nice and Ellie was nice because she was scared of the goat. And then all of a sudden the goat charged Ellie who on, I was right with Ellie. <laughs> so I did what every self-respecting person would do. What did I do Sophie? Screamed. I screamed and then Sophie looked at me and where was the goat? On top of you. <laughs> right on top of me. I got head butted in my leg. Not hard. She wasn't trying to hurt me. She was trying to kill Ellie. And then Ellie <laughs> went after her. And then and Ellie, because I screamed, Ellie looked me in the eyes and she said, don't worry, I'll save you. And she went after the goat. It was all rather like simple. It wasn't serious. It wasn't like, it was so fast. And I called Ellie back. Ellie came running right back. And then uh, we realized that the goat is in charge of Ellie. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, so I've been cleaning up down here. I'm gonna finish it today. This is all garbage stuff. I Ugh. wish we could open that stall so they can go in here. <gasps> oh, I love that idea. Imagine we could open that stall so they could ju they could just come in here. Well, this little room, I don't know if I showed you guys, it's right over here. It has, I don't even know what the heck that is. I think it's a locker on its side, which if I went in there and cleaned, that'd be a great well, place to keep their food and stuff because you could close the doors. Yeah, it's on its side because obviously it doesn't fit height-wise in here. I raised up their baking soda. I noticed they are eating it. Uh, they can still poop in it, obviously. I'm looking for a container that will hold their loose mineral and their baking soda together. I want one I can like hang on the mount on the wall. All right, so let's go in and look at this room. I've never been in this room. One of my favorite things that I've done so far. Oh. oh. Hello, goats. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Till. I catch your wow, her milk is empty. It was full last night. Don't chase them. I'm not. Okay. Anyways, 
one thing that I've loved the most about this little about this farm is going around and finding all the like treasures there's been so many treasures anyway oh I've never been in here yet I think this is a gate Ooh, brought my broom so I can get spider webs is it a gate it's a gate I'm going to bring this out and show Sam because one thing that we use a lot of around this farm are gates. Anyway, I am going to come down and clean this room a little later and we might even take that thing out. It might be a perfect area to keep all their like supplements and all their grain and all their stuff. But honestly, the, my favorite part of this whole journey has been exploring the property and finding all the cool things. All right. <laughs> There's Sophie. She's like, I will sit with you forever. Anyway, so this is our boot closet and I'm trying to get it organized right now while Sam and Sophie are gone to do chores. Hopefully we get to bring our horses home today. Um, so I want to get this done really quick because I had this shelf in the middle of the hallway and I needed to get room. I needed to make room so that I don't feel depressed coming into the house because it was getting so crowded. But over here, I'm going to put all of our winter boots. I'm going to hang like backpacks and purses up here. Maybe put a couple more hooks. Um, Sam's going to put a rod so we can hang hooks, hang coats, maybe like in the back there so that they hang down. Uh, these are our overflow of boots. This house really doesn't have a ton of storage. So I'm trying to make the storage that we do have as, as, versatile as possible in fact I might even put some shelves over here I don't know there's an Ellie in the closet <laughs> but anyway I just wanted to show you guys our little closet in the front because I finally got it sorted Now that the cat has been moved, I can leave this door open during the day. Oh, it makes such a difference. It just feels so much better to be able to walk through this way than to go around that way. But I've never seen the door open like this before. Usually you push them that way. Say I open this one like this and it closes the door. So that door is completely void now. Our tack room is a total disaster. Hopefully today I'll be able to get all this stuff cleaned up. This is where Sam built all the stall stuff, all this made all the stall wood. I was thinking that when we bring over all of our like hooks, you know, I said that we have those, don't just ignore all this stuff, it's gonna be cleaned up. Um, when we bring over like the hooks that hold all of our bridles and halters and lead ropes, all the extra stuff, I was thinking like there's no place to, to hang them in here. So I was thinking what if we hung them on that wood piece there and then let them all hang down and then it would be like a wall for the kitchen area. Because I'd like the feed room to be, like if it's blocked off, that doesn't bother me. Brought over lots of stuff the other day. We haven't got it all put away yet. Remember I told you guys that we're going to use this as like a wall to put all the stuff that was in our basement, all of our storage that we didn't have room for. So we did that. She, I could use that little dog bed, maybe for the cat. This is actually a cat bed, right? It looks good. I'm gonna take it down and put it in there for the cat so she can use it, he can use it. I love being able to just leave this door open. I also wanna come in here in the next few days and cut all this stuff or restaple it to the wall. It's just annoying and ugly. So that is what Sam, did to Chino stall. He just used wood that we had around here. It all looks good except for that one piece. <laughs> I'm still working on putting this mesh on his thing. I'm almost done it. Also, we have mats in that stall. We decided to use that stall for, for storm because when the horses come in, we can just bring them right in here and into that stall. We don't know what we're doing with this area. I think this is going to be like a storage area or something. I'm using all this straw or hay for the goose and the duck in their nighttime bed. So I'm slowly using it up, but I don't want to spend, like it is really, really deeply bedded. I don't want to spend hours cleaning it. And I actually don't even mind that it's here 
that gate that I found, I think it's still too short to fit here. So we want to close this area off. So we want to put a, a wall here completely, which is probably what he's building. And then I want to put a gate over here so that we can come out here and go into the field because this is where our water pump is. I wasn't sure like if we should just leave this open and let it be like another shelter for the horses um, because that door closes and then there's another door inside the barn that closes. I think we're going to close it off. Comment below what you guys think we should do. Wow. Looking good. Look at the view. Oh shoot, I forgot the garbage bag. I have to go back. So he's building Chino's pen right now. We're trying to get that done. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do something in the goat barn and then I'm gonna come up and finish all the chores in this barn so we can bring our babies home. You want me to help you right now or you want me to wait? I want you to get the girls to help you. How, you want me to get the girls to help me? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm bringing the horse today or tomorrow because this has to get done before they can come. And the whole point is this has to be done then the horses stay out there while we drag all the mats here. Yeah. And then by the end of the day, they should be here. Yeah, so you're saying there's no time to like... No, because I have to go to the store, buy more stuff and... You guys can't see my sad face. Plus, has, this has to get all done too, like... This has to be clean. Yeah, I can hustle. And the gate has to be on there. I can hustle. I'm a hustle. If I can hustle... You never know what will happen. So I'm gonna put you guys down and then I'm gonna hustle. And I'm gonna get those girls, like Gabby's still in bed. She said she needed a, day's, a day off. Like in the summer, we don't let them sleep. We don't let them stay up till 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and then sleep all day. And the reason we don't do that is because they're miserable and grouchy and they still have like things that have to get done, like chores and with the horses and riding. And there's no like, when they're tired, oh my gosh, it's terrible. So they get to stay up to like 11 during the week and then they have weekends to themselves. Might sound mean, but when you have horses and animals, you don't, you have to get up. So on the weekends, they, we let them do, like, we let them have like sleep in, stay up as late as they want. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Hi babies. <laughs> They totally understand how the water works. Sam put wood there so the babies can't get out. What I was saying is that Gabby said that she needs another weekend day because she got screwed out of on the at the horse show. She had to get up at the crack of dawn. And I get that. But she's not like, if I said no, no weekend, no extra sleeping day, she'd be fine with it. Goats to her. Oh my gosh, they're all in here. Oops. Aw, Blossom. Blossom and Tilly. Blossom and Tilly are for sure names. This is Blossom. And Mocha. And Mocha is her mom. And I still don't have a name for my girl, you guys. My baby girl. And I really want to have a name for her soon. Hi, Blossom. That'll teach you to come in the door just because I leave it open. <laughs> oh, shoot. They were all laying down just a second ago. Happiness achieved. For lucky today I found uh, the feeder that I was looking for on, on Amazon they're like 20 something dollars or 50 something dollars like they were outrageous but at one of our feed stores I found it it was $10.95 all right we are at our old barn miss this barn thank you oh, we're picking up some stuff so you know it's we weird here we wouldn't have gotten goats if we stayed here, we wouldn't have gotten goats. I know, but I, it's so pretty. I think it's pretty. All right, let's get packing. So Sam ordered collars with bells, and they should be here today. So that's going to be exciting. Everybody's going to so get a color. Mocha's getting pink, and then... Um, Forget. Blossom. Blossom is getting black. Come here, show me. This is pretty big for the baby. Oh, they're huge. So they must be for big goats, but that you must be able to make them smaller. So the the halters came or the collars came. And so I guess I'm getting red and purple for my goats. And then you should have the blue. Um Sam's calling his little boy 
Rocky. So this is Rockies. We should put names on them. We should write the names on them. Oh, hello. I was going to say, hi, little goatee. Does dad need us? No. You like it? No. <laughs> she doesn't like anything to do with goats. All right, perfect timing, because I need you to help me with something. I should have got oh. the small black one that I was going to get, because... You think that's too big? It can still go smaller. Like a lot smaller. All right, Gabby brought the that's light good. bulbs. I know today's video is supposed to be about horses, but we're in over our heads. So Sophie and I are thinking like there's three stalls here, four stalls over there. That's going to be the horse barn area if we ever need more stalls. And then this is the goat section. I'm going to try and put this fan on and see what happens. So there's this fan here. It's supposed to take all the hot air out of the barn. <laughs> so. Sophie is wrangling the goat. <laughs> she has her collar on. I'm I don't think that she her. can wear that all the time, though. It's too big. If she gets caught on something, it's not going to go go well, and they're not breakaway. And she's learned to be caught and she's learning to get love. <laughs> Sophie Thank loves you. goats. I love them too. Even even when they don't come to me, I still love them. Do all your family. Either. All right. So, this is our goat feed room. It through this little door. Like when we moved here, this was just a big disgusting mess. I mean, it's still really dusty on the top. Like through that window, every window has such <laughs> they're on the other side now weird things it's hard to clean through them and guys this is my goat <laughs> they're over there we leave the barn door open for them because they love it like they're getting really friendly just coming in they're so curious this is my goat blossom okay fix this make it tighter it can't it can so so here's our hay and here's our food and i don't know what else i'm going to put in here <laughs> any more supplies we're getting a fridge in the next few days how cute she is and hopefully nobody can climb through because they know where the grain is now. But I love it, like I said, because I can just throw the hay over. <laughs> Mom, I'm coming. She held, she held me. Get through that. In here, we tried to put more light bulbs. There's two other light bulbs and none of them worked. So in here, I put this cabinet and I put two of the shelves. There's four shelves, but I put two. Whoa. Oh, I just broke it. Anyway, I put it in here because it's good for storage. Oh well, it's okay. I can get rid of this door, the doors, and just leave it like an open cabinet. There is a closed cabinet here. Fix the hose in here. The other one leaked. Be ready. So that's it, guys. <laughs> now I just have all this junk to clean up. Oh, I also found this with like it's a skid with wood on top of it. I thought that would be so great for the goats. Do you think we should put it in there? In there run in or in their field all right i am done in this barn i have to pee so bad <laughs> so so he wants to get a piece of wood along there or on the top there and hang up all their collars and and leashes and that kind of stuff they're chilling in their house <laughs> they've been eating the baking soda i haven't seen them lick the salt or lick the mineral but they're getting more and more used to us more and more friendly hi till I still don't have a name for my baby and it makes me so sad because I like her so much. Let's go see how Sam's doing. Oh, honestly, you guys just are the cutest babies. I love you all. It's okay, don't run. I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. There's some ground in here that it's like little rocks. It's hard. It'll help with their hooves so much. How you doing? Are you hot? Do you need help? I need you to move that gate over where we're <laughs> Okay, and do you want water? No. All right, so the rest, I'm gonna wait and show you tomorrow because there's like a lot of like all the finishing touches that are gonna come when the horses come home. 
Um, I might put a bench here and be able to sit here with Chino and Willow. So uh, this is Chino and Willow's field. It is done. We cut off all that grass because there's no way we were going to get all that grass out of here. But this is it. It's got good drainage. It goes up here. There are little bits of grass still. <coughs> Literally, you can only do so much, man. Guys, you can only do so much. So we're going to bring Willow out here and let her eat all this down quick. Stick Chino in a stall. So we decided this is going to be the feeder. And I'm going to take those bricks out of here. But um, this is going to be their feeder. I might spray paint it to make it look nicer. We decided to put it in the shelter. This shelter gets a lot of sun in the morning, but it's like four o'clock now from around 2 p.m. It starts to get shady, so, and the morning sun's not so bad, so um, they'll be eating out here. But that is their field. All set and ready to go. Then this is their run-in. We're, I don't know if we're putting mats in here or if we're not putting mats in here, but this is their run-in. This is where they'll come in out of the sun. Clearly I need to move a few things. I was working in here all day. So there's a stall in their run-in. We're gonna put mats in there. I don't know if we're gonna ever use it. I don't know, we'll have to see when they get home, when they're home. So this is it though. So they can come in here uh, their water is going to be in here so that it's out of the sun so it doesn't turn green. Maybe along this wall here. Probably not because I don't want to block the stall. But it'll be in here somewhere, maybe in front of this gate. And they will be able to come in and get out of the sun. They'll be able to see all their friends. Will will be able to see. That's another benefit of using these panels is that... Uh, the minis, the babies can see everything. They can see out. It's not like, not like they're locked in a square box. So stalls, everything's all cleaned up in here. Um, I have to go around and collect my stuff. <laughs> my shovels. I've got shovels everywhere. Uh, this is the run-in for the girls. And then over here is our little seating area and our hay storage. Then our tack room through that door. You guys have seen most of this stuff already. Uh, so mats are going to come home after the horses. So once the horses are home and they're outside doing their thing, we're going to bring the mats and put all the mats down. Um, so Sam managed to board this off so the horses can't come in here. And I'm super excited about it. All I have to do is lift it. Lift it up. Oh, it's hard. Lift it up. We got a gate over there. I think he still needs to attach it. Come on in, Ellie. Um, so we, and then he built a gate for over here. In fact, he took the gate off there and added that one that I brought up, added it over here so that it could uh, be longer. And so now the horses can't come in here. They'll only go in there, but I can hang up something for the water so I can hang up the hose over there which I'm gonna do um, and then I'm gonna bring our chairs like some chairs over here it, it, it is scorching hot outside scorching hot and when we go and sit like Sam was busy working all afternoon in the hot sun and he went and sat on the bench just out here you guys know where the bench is well it's just on the other side of this wall but anyway he went and sat there and it's in the pure sun so I said I'll bring over some chairs. Like, I love a bench here. But I'm going to bring over some chairs. And then this is just going to be a space for us. Like a workspace. Space that will put stuff. Like we don't want the horses to get in. Or horses like just where it's just going to be a storage space. In case you're wondering, he took the door off. But there's also this door here. So we can close it if we need to. I like it open though for the light. I don't know. We could use that for anything. Like... I don't know, time, like, some things you can't figure out until you live here. Like, we need to bring the horses home and figure it So that's it. That's all we have done. The mats will make a big difference. We're bringing over all the water. We're bringing the lights tomorrow night. I'll show you guys what it's going to look like um, in the night. Because, Sam, I don't know, actually, if the lights will be set up tomorrow. But we have a lot of fancy lights. This is going to be lit up like a party room. Once the horses are home, we'll be able to, like, hook up all the things that we want to hang up their halters and their bridles. And I think maybe we'll put like some hooks in here so because it's kind of set back in the wall. Um, we'll put their halters in here or 
on their stalls. I don't know. But that's it. We are done. We're, the, we're ready. We're ready for the horses to come. I'm really excited. I liked the barn better when it was completely open. I don't like that this is kind of closed off now, but it was kind of a necessary evil. And I'm happy with it. I'm happy with what we did. A lot of people don't understand the, the way that we designed this barn to be. Um, they like the stalls in the, in the other barn better because it's what they're used to. But we designed this for our horse's comfort in mind. Like, we want this to be a pleasant place for our horses to be. Even Chino, who likes the stall because he's fussy and he doesn't like to be outside in the rain and the wind and the cold, and he likes the stall. He doesn't really truly love his stall. He just doesn't want to be in the mud and the wind and the rain. So now that he has this big space that's open and he can come and go if he wants to come and go, he's not locked in a box. He can come in, go out, meet his friends, see his friends, be around his friends and the girls never have to ever go in a stall if they don't want to. I'm not knocking stalls you guys. I'm not knocking a traditional barn. I love all barns but this is what we decided for our family and for our horses and I'm looking forward to so many days of being in this little area here and playing with our ponies and watching our ponies lay down in there and enjoy the sand and watching Chino be able to see his whole herd again. So that's it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow when our horses finally come home. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the